My name is John Finger. I'm the founder and co-owner of the Hog Island Oyster Company. We're here with Pottery Barn at our picnic area and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about oysters and entertaining. This food is more about place than just about any other food. We've actually been farming oysters on this bay for 27 years. We grow three different varieties of oysters. You know, they're such a great sustainable way to produce seafood. We're not adding any feed or fertilizer. We're really counting on Mother Nature to provide a great place for us to put these oysters and you get to work in a beautiful, beautiful spot. So oysters really are about two things. The flavor profile of an oyster is about two things. It's the type of oyster, whether it's a Pacific, Atlantic, or Kumamoto, and then the bay. Each bay has a signature, just like the terroir and wine, it's the meroir of that bay. Remember the type of oyster and the place where it's from, and you'll be on the right track to an oyster you like. If you're buying oysters somewhere, you want to look for a couple of things. And here we have a couple of just samples of oysters. And here you can see the different varietals right in front of you. Even though these are all three grown in this bay, we have a Kumamoto, an Atlantic, and a Pacific oyster that are all looking different because they're different species. But any oyster you buy should be closed tightly. It shouldn't be gaping open, and it shouldn't sound hollow. We, we test a lot by, by tapping on the shell. If it sounds hollow and clunky, it means like the liquid that's in there that the oyster is maintaining itself in is gone, is dried out. So you don't want a dried out or hollow sounding oyster. That's a really quick, easy way to test to make sure you've got a good quality oyster in front of you. The most common way, of course, everybody thinks of having oysters is raw. I, I prefer raw oysters. If oysters are good and, 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 and they've been taken care of, I mean, there's nothing like the taste of a nice, fresh, raw oyster. Um, but also out here in Northern California, what's really common is barbecuing oysters, which is a little different for some people in other parts of the country. And then also, it's just fun. I mean, oysters to me are a very fun food. It's always a social sort of event to, to somebody has to know how to shuck and somebody needs to know a little bit about the oysters and somebody else goes, oh, I remember when I was a kid and, and it just rolls into this whole fun social event. So have a great time and remember, eat oysters, they're good for you, they're good for the planet and they're fun.